is investing in the stock market is tough or decision making which stock to choose to invest for a good return in future is this a tough task my answer is obviously yes and no because many a times we ourselves are responsible for not making or in cashing the opportunity in the stock the reason is very simple we make the investment too complicated the moment we start following the simple process of investing the possibility of returns becomes higher the stock market is not a place where we can guarantee the returns however if we choose the undervalued stock and check the technical chart formation and then take a call to invest then possibility of making money in the stock market is probably higher i recall here the quote of legendary warren buffett he always said choose a great company or great business at a right valuation so in this video i have identified top 8 stocks from the us stock market out of this seven are undervalued currently at current market price and one i have chosen because the chart formation is great and the growth potential is very high and the stock is slightly overvalued so i'll straight away go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of these chosen stocks from the us stock market and do the technical analysis understand the price action and try to project the price targets of these stocks with potential returns in future let me emphasize these are not the video relating to advising the investment in the stock market these are not stock recommendation you have to do your own research understand the price action understand the fundamentals of the business before you decide to invest so friends don't forget to like this video subscribe the channel hit the notification bell for updates let's straight away go to the price chart and let me tell you about these top 8 stocks from the us stock market which are currently looking undervalued and chart formation is looking good so we start with the vc properties i don't know whether i am pronouncing it correctly or not the pronunciation of vc is vc or something else but this stock is trading on new york stock exchange vici properties now this stock is currently is at 31.26 dollars and if we look at the intrinsic value of this stock and compare it with the current market price it is undervalued by 52.7% 52.7% undervalued as on 31st july 2024 how the intrinsic values are right it is arrived on the future cash flows and adopting the discounted cash flow model so this is currently a undervalued stock now let us examine this stock from the point of view of technical analysis now if we look at the price action earlier it made a double bottom over here or multiple bottom and the apex was here gave a breakout and it attained the target now if i calculate the uh, target of this double bottom where the target arrives it has achieved its first target and then the price is consolidating over here in a range bound manner so when the trend resumption takes place and probably it is taking place because in the current month that is in the month of july itself it has given a return of 9.15% so 
So the next potential target could be to here $39.5. So what could be the potential return in this stock? If I calculate a potential return in this stock from the current market price, it comes to something around 24%. Considering the very next target, targets of any chart pattern is minimum expected objective. So one can even decide to write the trend in this particular stock. Now, why I'm saying that the trend resumption is taking place? Simply because let me draw you yet another chart pattern which will which will give a clarity on this subject if i draw a bullish flag kind of pattern take it all the you know closing price so this is the breakout of a bullish flag and it has broken out the resistance area so if i calculate the target on the bullish flag let us calculate the target on the bullish flag. The last impulsive wave is this. However, there was a bullish flag breakout here too. So if I consider the target and arrive at the target on the basis of this bullish flag pattern and project the target from the point of breakout, then the target comes at $52. The target comes at $52. So we have arrived at the two target. One is 39.55, where we are getting a return of 24%, while the another target based on the bullish flag comes at 52. So it might give a return of even 63% uh, in coming uh, time, in near future. When I talk about the newer feature, it's a positional uh, viewpoint on these stocks. So it might take one and a half years or one year time to achieve these kind of targets. Another stock is Johnson & Johnson. These are all monthly chart because we are considering the long-term view on these stocks. Now, what we can see in this stock, this stock as on 31st of July, this stock is undervalued by 32.9% if compared with the fair value price or intrinsic value of this stock. Now, considering the price action over here, can we see here, this is a forming some kind of multi-drive correction in this stock. Now, the price has taken support twice on this EMA 55. And it has a tendency to take support on EMA 55, EMA 55, and then makes a new high, makes a new high. Once again, this is bouncing from EMA 55, and prior two months, we can see the formation of inside. So what kind of candlestick pattern is emerging? This is a some kind of flag pattern which is under formation. The moment this flag gives a breakout, then there will be a breakout of the flag pattern. And let us calculate the target on the basis of this flag pattern. So the next potential target could be to $180 and then $206. Currently, it is trading at $157.85. So let us check the potential return from the current market price. The first target will yield a return of 14% and second target will yield a return of around 29%. So these are the two stocks we have already discussed. Now let us go to the third stock. This is the JP Morgan, JPM uh, stock from the US stock market, uh, which is traded uh, on NYSC. Currently, this is trading at 212.8. And in the current month, that is in the month of July 2024, it has given a return of 5.79%. Now, this stock currently, if we compare with the intrinsic value, is trading. 27.7% undervalued. So this stock is also looking good. What we can see here is in the recent time, it has given a breakout of this continuation chart pattern, which is nothing but the cup and handle kind of chart pattern with respect to the prior impulsive wave. So now let us project the target on the basis of this cup and handle pattern. 
and project the target. So it has already attained the first target of 204. So next potential target could be to 240. So what could be the potential return based on uh, this calculation? So it comes to around 12%. Now coming back to the yet another method of calculating the target on the basis of wave analysis. This is the prior well-defined impulsive wave. So if we project the target on the basis of uh, this impulsive wave, so I am projecting the target on the basis of this impulsive wave. So the next target is coming at 267.4, not much difference between the two target. So the potential return could be to something around based on this method of uh, projecting the target is uh, from the current market price is around 25%. The third stock is Amazon on NASDAQ. Now this stock is in a very strong uptrending mode. In the recent time, it has probably formed the cup and handle kind of pattern. And there is a breakout of this cup and handle pattern in the month of June. We just need to have a follow through of the high of uh, candlestick of June month, June 2024. And the high is 199.84. The moment this stock goes past 200, currently it is trading at 186.98 dollars. So what could be the potential target based on cup and handle pattern? So I am projecting the target on the basis of cup and handle pattern. The first target is $280 and it has a potential to go even to $370. Let me first tell you, this stock is also trading at a discount of 38.5% if compared with the intrinsic value. So this is also a undervalued stock. What could be the potential return? Uh, let us measure from the current market price. At the first target, it might give a return of around 41-42%. And in the second target, it might give a very whooping returns of 88%. So this stock is also looking good, which is undervalued. And the chart formation is that it has given a breakout of a continuation chart pattern, which is cup and handle chart pattern. Now let us go to another stock. Meta platforms. Now, this stock is currently trading at a discount of or undervalued by 23.7% as on 31st July 2024. This stock is currently trading at uh, 474.83. If we see the trajectory of this stock, this is the potential resistance line, which indicates the potential resistance. So it may follow the trajectory of this and then face a resistance once it reaches to this trend line. So the price structure would be like this. So we can draw the trend line on our price chart, set an alert and whenever the price reaches to that, maybe the time where we book the profit and uh, preserve the profit. Now considering the price action, prior trend was bullish. There is a deeper correction. There is a breakout of a cup and handle pattern. So if we calculate the target of this cup and handle pattern and project the target, the first target is coming at 891. Currently, it is trading at 474. And it has a potential to go to even $1,500. So let us calculate the potential return based on the chart pattern. So from the current market price, in the first target, it might yield a return of 74. And probably this is the area where it might go and touch this uh, rising trend line. And uh, it could be even target could be more because this is a rising trend line. So the price structure would be like this, like this, like this. So we can draw on our chart this particular trend line like this and wait for price to touch to this trend line and then uh, reanalyze the price chart to understand where there is a loss of upside momentum. So this stock is also looking good. In the recent time, it is consolidating after a parabolic rise and the moment price gives a breakout here, it is a breakout of a bullish flag. Now let us go to another stock. This is 
Alphabet, Google. Now this stock currently is trading at a discounted price of 38.8%. It is undervalued by 38.8% with respect to its intrinsic value as on 31st July. So here too we can see prior trend is bullish. Here it is a rounding pattern kind of uh, chart pattern. So with respect to the prior impulse, this is nothing but the continuation chart pattern and cup handle pattern. Price consolidated for uh, around two months before it gave a breakout over here. So let us arrive at the price target on the basis of this chart pattern and project it. So the first target would be something around 209 $210 dollars and it has a potential to go to 100% expansion uh, on Fibonacci expansion scale to $255. So let us calculate the potential return from the current market price. So let, let, me, let me measure the potential return. In the first target, uh, the potential return could be 19 to 20% and in the second target, uh, return potential return could be 44-45%. So this is also looking good. Now let us go to the yet another stock which is Netflix. Now in Netflix also, which is trading on NASDAQ, current price is $628.35. Here too we can see the price currently is undervalued by 14.7% as on 31st July. Now here, let us see the price action. This was the downtrending move in the market and then it has reached to almost all-time high level. The moment price gives a breakout of $698, there will be breakout of a cup and handle pattern. This will be a breakout of a cup and handle pattern which will develop an upside momentum in this particular stock. So what could be the potential target if this uh, uh, continuation chart pattern gives a breakout? The potential target would be to something around first target would be to $1557 and it has a, a potential to go to $2590. So, but this, uh, we have to wait for the breakout of these kind of patterns. And the breakout will happen when any candle closes above $698. So, what could be the potential return post breakout? On first target, the return could be around 120%. So, uh, I'm not discussing the second target on Netflix because the first target itself is very, very uh, robust and strong. And uh, we can always reanalyze. Uh, let me let me show you what could be the potential possibility. Here I have drawn the uh, resistance line, and you can see the price action. Price got rejected here, got rejected here, got rejected here. So it has a multiple touch points. So price may go like this, like this, like this, and this trend line may potentially act as a uh, next possible major resistance where we have to either book the profit or check the uh, price action when the price reaches to this trend line. Now let us go to the uh, last stock of this video. This is Invadia Corporation on NASDAQ. This stock is currently trading at $117.02. And in the current month, there is a correction of $5.28. There is a parabolic rise Price is overextended, so correction was well expected. Now, this stock is currently overvalued by 29.7%. But the future growth and considering the business proposition, this stock is potentially a good stock uh, for future uh, returns because the earning growth potential is very, very high in this particular stock. Now, if we See the price action over here. The last major impulsive wave is this. So if we take the references uh, of this particular impulsive wave and project the target uh, from there to there, what has happened? Why there is a loss of momentum? 
because with respect to this well defined impulsive way it has already attained the target of 160 1.8% expansion level and so there is a loss of momentum in this stock here little tricky you have to wait in this stock for a correction to the value zone where could be the potential value area of this stock for this let us go to the daily price chart here what we can see in the recent time the correction has started and if i draw a horizontal line so this was the cup and handle pattern with respect to the uh, prior impulsive wave and there was a breakout with a break away gap with a substantial rise in the volume has the price come to the gap let us check so the price has already come to the gap and the last uh, candle is a bullish kicker candlestick pattern so probably it may not come to the level of 95 dollars where we initially expected because i had made a separate video of this stock on this channel if you want to refer that video you can uh, you know search on the channel uh, in invidia stock and you will find that video where i have done a comprehensive analysis of invidia stock so there was a complex correction parabolic rise this is probably an a b c d pattern a b c and probably overextended a b c d pattern which seems to have completed let me check the uh, expansion level so it seems to have completed considering the expansion level because it has already tested here 161.8% expansion level indicating the possibility of the completion of complex correction that is abcd pattern so we can set out uh, you know uh, buy gtt order or buy limit stop order above 120 dollars so why i'm saying 120 dollars because 118.67 dollar is the value of ema 21 overall trend is bullish short term trend intermediate trend is bullish in this particular stock so the moment that order is triggered price will go to the volume weighted moving average which might currently act as a resistance here and then probably it will develop a momentum and the next short term target i am telling you now uh, could be to potentially to 165 dollars and then to 202 dollars so these are the stocks which i wanted to share with you these are not the stock recommendations but why i think that these stocks these top stocks from the us stock market have potential to give the returns because seven out of these eight stocks are undervalued if we compare with the intrinsic value or fair value price and one stock in vedia is overvalued by around uh, how much is the overvalued let me let me tell you again uh, this stock is little overvalued I, I think that has moved already i had indicated here that the stock is overvalued by around 29% so what do you think about these top eight stocks which are currently undervalued in the us stock market Will these stocks will attain the target according to your opinion? What the target we have discussed in this video? Do offer your comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon. Willing to succeed in the stock market? Join DK's Diamond Club channel membership for fundamental and technical analysis. Learn strategies and risk management to stay ahead of the curve. Join now and attend our weekly meetings every Sunday.